Hello, fellow hams. I'm uh, trying to decode Whisper on medium wave. As you can see, we're on 474.20. And I've got noise. Look at that. You can hear it too. You hear that buzz? And as I tune across the area, there it is. Of course, it's right where I want to be, 474.20. Well, I did a little bit of investigating and I discovered the source of my noise. And it's a source that many of you might also be experiencing, so I'm going to go and show you what the source of my noise is. This is the source of my noise. This is where the internet comes into my house. And I have a, a fiber where there's a terminal box on the outside of the house, and this is the power supply for the terminal box. Wiring comes in from the terminal, comes in here, and then uh, this is the DC power, which this is their AC power supply, which is grounded with a three-pronged plug, but apparently they don't ground it through the common wire here and out to the terminal. Now what I've done is I took out the little bitty battery that they give you, and I have a much larger um, sealed battery here, 24 amp hour, to get more battery life. But I have taken my meter and I've checked, and the ground from the battery is electrically tied to this ground. Um, so the whole frame is grounded together, but that is isolated from the electrical ground. Um, I've measured voltage between the two, and it's just uh, like 0.6 volts, which is AC noise. It's what you see when something's not properly grounded. You'll see just a little tiny bit of ambient voltage is how we say, leakage from capacitors and such. Um, and so there's no problem with tying that ground to the electrical ground. No electrical problem. But check it with a meter. You know, Make sure you don't have 20, 30 volts difference between the two before you tie them together. Because what I'm going to do is, from the electrical outlet here, I'm going to run a ground wire up to this screw that I put in the wood and I'm going to anchor a ground wire to the negative of the battery which will ground the power supply and the outside terminal to the house's AC ground um, and that should bleed off the interference and then just to make sure we don't have any other uh, interference coming in through the telephone line because my terminal has a phone line connection which comes in here um, I am going to take a couple of .001 capacitors from the two phone lines to the ground as well to bleed off RF. The .001 caps are not going to interfere with the telephone signal and they should bleed off any RF that's coming in through the phone lines from the terminal. So I'm going to get all those wires installed and then we'll go upstairs and we'll look at the radio and see if it's any quieter. I think it will be. Uh, one more quick thought I should mention. I discovered that this was the source of the noise by turning it off. I pulled the power to the uh, terminal and uh, the noise went away. It was not coming from the router, even though that's powered in the same spot. Um, so it was not the router or the ethernet, so it was definitely the terminal, the uh, fiber optic terminal on the outside of the house generating the noise. So we'll get that grounded and then we'll measure it. Or we'll go up to the radio and see if it's quieter. Okay, we're grounded. You can see the ground point there. Yeah, I know that wire is red and it's going to the negative of the battery. I'm going to put some uh, black tape on it at both ends to remind me and bring to notice any future technicians that that's actually ground and not positive. I just didn't have any black wire. And I've got the two caps going over to the phone lines and then the uh, third wire you can see going down passes behind that plate and ties to the metal box on the uh, power outlet which is tied to, to ground on the uh, source. So we are now grounded electrically to the house ground and I'm going to go upstairs and we'll look at the radio and we'll see if it's any quieter.
and there we go none of that interference at all completely eliminated so if you have internet coming in through fiber be aware that they don't ground the terminal check the ground with the uh, with a meter to your AC ground to make sure that there's no high transient voltage there and uh, ground it as you can see I see one trace in there that's a whisper signal and I think I can still see just a slight hint of the interference but it is so low that I can't hear it so uh, we've really improved the band here in the low frequency ranges or the bottom end of medium wave so there you go find your noise sources make sure that they're grounded and you'll quiet up your HF 73 in. Thanks for watching.